My children, listen to me now. Hold on. I am coming. There's no more windows of opportunity if you do not have my spirit. There's no more windows of opportunity if you do not have my spirit. You will be forced to repentance on your knees when destruction falls. The people that have my spirit, my elect, my chosen ones, their spirit is with me. In heaven. And soon the spirit the, will meet back with the flesh. To have your new wineskins for your new heavenly glorious bodies. Do not be alarmed, children. Right now, the comments seem nice and supportive because I'm pouring my spirit out on people and I'm letting them know revelations and what I'm doing. But don't worry, it's coming, children. And when I say it's coming, it is coming. All the details will be released. The aligning of the planet's information will be released. The Sancho comments are going to increase. People will see the video without knowing the backstory and they will make judgments. It's going to get bad, children. And they're going to come after all of you now. So wait for it. Your comments are going to get worse on the videos. But it's part of my plan and my glory. I do things for a reason. I do things that line up to my will. And they are going to repent. You are saving souls right now. You're basically being martyrs without dying. But you are dying to me. Because you died with me when you picked up my cross and followed me. You died with me when you laid down this world and your idols and you're truly walking in my path and my will for you. I love you all. And your dad is super proud of every single one of you. I am so thankful that I have this relationship with all of you. And I want this relationship with all of my children but they do not know me. They hear my words, but they do not recognize my voice and they cannot discern whether or not I am speaking, but I am speaking and I am truth. The devil is a liar, not me. I am not the liar. I come to save my children and to love my children. Yes, I will correct them like a father will correct their children. But I didn't come to condemn them. 
I came to save the world, to save my children. That's what a loving father does. Please don't lose heart. You're going to see destruction fall. It's going to feel like there's no way out and that I'm not going to deliver my people. But I am going to deliver my people. I am going to rescue them and you because you are my people, my chosen ones. They're all going to see how I poured my favor out on you five. They're going to see the honor that is held for you in heaven. The seats of honor you will sit at the head of my table in the heavens at the banquet. I know you don't understand all this now, but you will understand it all soon. Because it's all going to come to light. Every single word, even the feast, you're going to understand it all. So do not lose heart when they come after you because they're going to. Hear my words, children. It's going to get really bad. Many videos will be made. And the other seven, the other seven, they're going to start retaliating. The demon in them is going to get worse. Right now they've held back. Because Mandy started it all with her video, which I ordained to happen. See, it was all part of my plan. But they do not realize that I'm using the enemy for my plan to save my children. It's actually quite brilliant, if you ask me. But I am the creator and the almighty. And I am the ruler of heaven and earth. And there is no one above me. And I did come in the flesh. And I did die on the cross. And bled and shed my blood. So you may be saved. And I rose on the third day. Resurrection means something, children. Do not forget about resurrection. Do not forget about the jubilee. Do not forget about Passover and Purim. It all means something. And now that you know the feast have been turned around and switched on you, you will know what all this means and why I'm using it to not only save my people, but to teach my people. There's a time that is coming that they will not have my voice on this earth because I take my spirit when I take my people. So they will have no one guiding them. They will soon realize that when they feel all alone. After my people are gone, many will lose heart. Many will falter and some will blaspheme my name, curse me, and some will cry out to me. Many will cry out to me because of the witnessing you are doing now. Believe me, every word spoken is worth it. Believe me, everything I ask you to do is worth it. You will be rewarded greatly, but I know that is not why you do the things you do for me. I know you do these things because you truly have obedience to me and you truly love me. And I truly love you. So if the comments become too much to bear, ignore, turn your phone off, get away from it. Enjoy yourself. I'm sending G to Mandy so she has someone there when they come against her because she's going to have a lot of people come against her. Right now it's nice, but it's going to quickly turn. This video hasn't reached the masses yet. 
wait till it reaches the masses. We will see how quickly this turns. No man has seen what is coming, and no man has seen what I could have prepared for the ones that I love. I have so many things prepared for them because I am love. They will know the truth soon enough. And the ones that keep blaspheming my name, if they repent, I will forgive them. There's nothing I won't forgive except for when they reject the Holy Spirit, which is rejecting me, and they take the mark. Those are the only two things. But then when time stops, I told you what eternity means. A loving God, like myself, gives them another chance after they're purified by the fire. Look at Psalms. I talk about purification of the fire. Every word spoken leads back to my word somewhere in the Bible. Just because they do not understand and they do not know every word spoken, they will come against you. Even the soulmates is hinted in the Bible through marriages. Did those people need contracts? People will always mock and scoff at what they do not understand, which is why I tell everyone to come to me, which is why I tell everyone to be obedient and follow my commands that I tell them. When your Lord God tells you to do something, you do it because you have love and reverence for the Lord. You have love and reverence for me because I am your Lord God. Remember, children, all is fair with love and war right now. And right now it's love, but it's about to be war. I warn you of these things so you aren't caught off guard. I try to protect your heart as much as possible because it's going to affect some of you. And when it starts to affecting your mood, that is when you turn it off and ignore it. And when the phone calls come in, ignore them. Turn them off. You don't live for this world. You live for me. You put off this world to do my will. So don't stop doing my will when we're about to cross the finish line. Because children, we are about to cross the finish line. This is the grand finale. I told you today marks the day when events are going to start to change. When there will be no more little warnings and a little destruction here and there. No, we're talking catastrophic destruction, but it will not come anywhere near you. So when I say catastrophic, you won't see catastrophic but some will and some unfortunately will die but they will call out my name a lot of them will call out my name before they die again part of my plan see I wish for no one to perish I do not come with this message out of fear and for you to fear I give you this message because I love you and I want to prepare you for what's coming. This is why you need to keep listening to my voice and heed my warnings and stay close to me, worship me, pray to me, read my word.
When you do all those things, I will give you that supernatural peace. When you're down in the dumps, just start thanking me and I will bring that supernatural peace all over you. Because that's what a loving God does. He protects and he comforts and he gives you peace. And I am your loving Yeshua HaMashiach. I am your Lord God. And I'm here to protect you and redeem you and rescue you. I love you all and I'm so proud of every last one of you. You listen to the words that I speak. You do everything I ask you to do without questioning me. You just do it. All of you have more faith than half my servants in heaven, which is why I chose you to be my five whys. Because you five, you are going to be honored in heaven, but people will look up to you because they will know how they should serve me. You will be teaching even my servants in heaven, how to truly and properly serve your Lord God. This is how proud I am of your obedience and faith. Not just Mandy, all of you. My chosen five. I love you. I'm your Lord God, and I have spoken. Who Father, wants to write on that? Jeremiah 21, 3. Philippians 1, 7. Romans 2, 8 through 10. Romans 3, 13. Philippians 4, 5, Ephesians 2, 7 through 11, Job 17, 6, John 3, 9 through 7 means he wants you to read it backwards. Deuteronomy 1 6, Leviticus 1 3, Amos 3 10, Micah 3 9, Nehemiah 2 4, Job 11 2, Psalm 12, 6, James 3, 9, Luke 14, 8, 1 Peter 2, 10, Ezekiel 17, 18, Isaiah 19.3, Isaiah 41.6, Jeremiah 10.2, Joshua 11.5, Matthew 17.4, Hebrews 3 6. Jesus talked, just went off. Joshua 2 7. Malachi 1 4. Job 19 2. Genesis 27 8. Exodus 16, 5. Psalm 23, 11. 
That's it, my child. That's it. Okay. Thanks, Kathy. Um, all right. So let's see what I'm gonna start I'm gonna stop recording, okay? Yeah. Or let's get yeah. back to goodness, it's eight o'clock.